Hello and welcome to SnowRunner and today we are looking at the IX Wrecker. Now this is a fantastic looking mod and I can confirm this is being put forward for going on to consoles. So I know in FS19 everyone was mad for having a Wrecker in the game and we never managed to get one. It never happened and I'm sure it still hasn't happened yet. But here we have it, the IX Wrecker will be coming to console. Well, it's being put forward for console approval, so as long as it meets approval, then it will come into the game. Now, it's made by Puppy Master, and he says, well, he wants it into, into console, on console mods, so it's going to happen. That's what all it needs, really, is the modders to say, yes, we want to put it on console mods, and it will go there. So let's go over and pick a vehicle up. So we're back in Black River. Let's have a look here. And basically we have the skate at the top there. So I thought we'd use this to go and pick up the skate. So the route up the hill is we need to go up to that road there. Turn a right and then that goes all the way up to the hill. We can pick it up, bring it back down. Cool. Now there are a lot of options for this at the moment, there's a lot of different engine options, gearbox, wheels, everything, fair play, we've got a hell of a lot of options on it. Then we've also got the the other type of, I can't remember what you bloody call it now, where you just pick up the front wheels, we've got that option on this one as well. You can have it as just a normal pickup if you want, so you don't have to have the wrecker, it has, the wrecker is the on the body now it when it first came out it, um, well it's all been animated now so i um, done a really good job with it fair play and as a as a truck anyway it's really nice really is nice now if you want overpower there is OP there if you just want decent amount of power and not OP then that's there also so it is there for everyone because I know it's um, there's a lot of people who specifically said I do not want this and I do not want that and it's like well you don't have to have it you can have whatever you want really if you don't want to use a overpowered engine then don't use the bloody thing it's not difficult is it this is the advantage of what mods will be bring into console it gives everyone that choice because there's so many different ways of playing the game and everyone is different and I see that on all the comments where people say, oh, would you do that? And it's like, well, because of this and because of that. And people are so naive about, oh, no, you should play it this way. And it's like, it's a game. You can play it however you want to play it. And no matter what anyone says, it's telling them shut up. Because it's, you know, I, I get it the same as well. Where, Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Well, I'm playing the bloody game at the moment. So I'm doing it how I want to do it. And you will do it totally different to me. So there it is so here we have the new truck discovered now I have had a mess around trying to get it on the back and it's not perfect yet but we are getting there fair play you know fair play we're getting there so controls wise what I find to do hang on so we have we have got um, active suspension on this so you can raise or higher do whatever you want with that we'll leave that in the higher one then restore crane obviously puts the bed back on then it says activate anchor and this is when it drops the back off now it has got quite a few winch points on there as well where i was messing around is that is that moving no stop now i was messing around with the winches so let's try and winch it on now i'll tell you what i want i want to winch on that point there and then we'll have it on there and hopefully we should be able to wind it in get it up on the top there but this is the problem I was having it was uh, getting up here and then when you well there we go right so it's on there now now we do the activate the anchor again so it will raise the bed back on that's what I was having the slight issue well it must have been the heavier vehicle yep see that isn't an issue like that 
so now we've got it up onto there and you can see pack truck pack now you have to do that when it is in the stationary it's on the horizontal position if you don't it goes nuts it really does so look at that fantastic how easy was that that worked really well now I did have issues with it earlier but I think it was all about the I'll tell you what it probably doesn't help having that winch on so let's release the winch and hopefully that'll stay on the back because before I didn't manage to pack it on there so it was a uh, well if you don't pack it it just jumps straight off A fair play for making this it must have taken a lot of time just getting everything right so the animation works and it does as it as it should so we came up picked it up and then we can take it straight back to the garage so this would be a great little addition to a bit of role play that's something I want to start doing in the future start having a few different garages um, set up you know like search and recovery and that sort of thing be quite good especially going out to uh, recover vehicles like this especially when the IX wrecker works so well and I'll tell you what that wants us to bounce around there let's just go into low a minute because you don't need to go up here quick do we let's have a bit of control come on trouble those back wheels I'm like yeah come on now I forgot we had div lock. I thought it was permanent div lock. There we go. So yeah, there are quite a few, um, like with the O-powered engine. You can see, let's stop there a minute. I've got, you can see, four bars on this one. So there's quite a lot. But we're going for max power at the moment. But it's great to see that. Th so this is one of the first mods that I've seen what's, what the mod has actually said that yes it's going in for console approval so pending that well basically what they're saying is it will go they will get it into console mods which is uh, what you want and I'll tell you what when it does this will be one of them the top mods it really will I guarantee it that there'll be so many downloads within the first week it will go crazy and the amount of downloads it's had already, I didn't have a actually quick look, but uh, I'll, I'll have to do that before it comes to console because it will be ridiculous. I guarantee it. Because, like I said, I had so many people. When is a wrecker coming to FS19? Why is nobody bringing a wrecker? And nobody ever made a wrecker. It's a very strange one, but here we are. Snow runner. And we got one. And what a fantastic one it is as well. So, let's get around here. Now there is a huge amount of tyres and different options for it. Huge amount. Puppy Master has done a fantastic job. Fair bloody play. And it said said in the comments this was his first mod as well. So fair play. I'd love to get into modding. Just haven't got the time myself. But that's staying on the back of there with no issues whatsoever. Doesn't make the vehicle and stable obviously you're gonna have to watch it turning hard left or right but apart from that jobs are good and you see we've got plenty of power whoa probably a bit too much power i don't know what the hell oh there's a sign i thought what the hell is that yeah it'd be nice to get a little bit of role play with this one get a couple of these on the go and then i'm gonna drag some cars out so I know one thing now is that every time I've got a car to, or a vehicle to go and drag out, and I'm not going to go and just pick it up and tow it. It's like, no, we're going to get the wrecker. We're going to get that, get that out, just like that. Look at it. Awesome bit of kit. So what's it like inside? Well, inside is a little bit dark at the moment, so... It's not unfinished. It's unfinished in there at the moment, but we don't care about that. We have a working wrecker. That is 
what it's all about. And it has got plenty of power. Love it. Looks the part. Does the part. Fantastic. Let's get the Smithville. Right, let's get cracked up to... Oh! Right, so going through then, it must have unpacked itself. I didn't even notice that. So bear that in mind. Let's uh, drop that down again. Attach the winch. And look at all these winch points. Come on. I'll tell you what. That, oh, there they are. It's working its way right now. Finally. Right, so winch that back up. Stop there, then we can activate the anchor. Yeah, and this is, I had this, yeah, there it goes. Sometimes there's, there's a little bit of a delay on it, and it wasn't actually s sliding it forward. Well, stop there. Let's see if we can pack the truck because I didn't want to. Yeah, it's a little bit stuck there, isn't it? Let's detach the winch and hopefully, when we restore, it won't go nuts. Oh, okay. Didn't really want that there, but never mind. So, like I said, it's, it has got a few little bugs to work out. But I'm not surprised it's got uh it's doing a lot of stuff. Now where is the winch position? These PTS winch positions are crazy. Well not that it's that bad there. There we are. We've seen them with thousands. Right, I bet as soon as I touch that oh it'll uh Right, so we've got the winch on now. Now if we unpack it shouldn't fall off. Come on. It's trying to pull it off to the side, isn't it? Right, let's just drop it down again. And then it should just pop back on the bed again. Oh, yeah, that seems to have glitched a little bit through there but never mind pull on the winch now will it let us yeah see it won't give us the option to pack so let's just change the truck jump in the truck a minute and I think it's just easier oh, and I think it's glitched through hasn't it Yes, it has. Bugger. So let's try and uh, see if it come up now. Lisa's out now. Come on. Right, now it will work properly. All this because I forgot to pack it back on, on the bed after. Right, activate the anchor, drop that down. And we're start, starting to roll off here. Then we can get the winch on the go. And we want that winch up there, that one there. Get round to those winch points, that one there. 
winch it in. Right, now we can do the activate anchor. Perfect. Textbook. Pack trucks. Detach the winch. Jobs are good. Un. So yeah, when you're going through, you're just going to have to make sure you repack it. Because it looks like it, uh, it resets itself. But I don't mind that. It's just, uh, well, you just got to know it. Otherwise, you'll have the little issue I had. But lovely, really nice, fantastic mod. Done a fantastic job. Fair bloody play. Looks the part, does what it needs to do, and is going to be really, really popular. I guarantee that one. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I thought I won't turn it too much. So let's get this one to the garage. Now we have got the the other back on there, which is um, it's not working exactly like the way this one is, which is a bit of a shame. <coughs> yeah, so here's the other one we've got. Now I did have a few little problems with this one, so I, I, I haven't used it enough, so I'm not I'm just gonna show you how it works. You won't go and pick anything up with it. So basically that one it just drops down like that and then you can winch it on the back, but there isn't any pack function function. So I was supposed to putting it on with the um the winch, but you find when you did that a lot of the time the vehicle was sort of jumping off and whatever, so I'll have a little bit of a more of a play on that and then when I can get it to work properly I'll uh do another video on it but nice bit of kit right so let's get the wrecker in right it probably won't let me go in the garage will it I'll show you the options what are available yeah it just jumped off the back didn't it so yeah, there's the options for the different engines. So we have got a smaller one and then we've got max power if you want that. And then gearbox wise, we've got the four different gearbox there. They're all bespoke as well. And then suspension wise, we have got lots of different suspensions. We have got the ultimate heavy work there and the IX monster, which yeah, that's pretty big, isn't it? It's a beast. We'll have that one actually. And then going on to tyres, it's got a huge amount of tyres choices on there. I wish they could pan this camera out a little bit so it's a little bit further away. So you can see what it looks like. But you can see loads and loads of different tyre choices for it. Just like that. And they do get pretty big and obviously chained options. And then winch, we've got three. We've got basic, offline and extreme. And then your snorkels. And your frame add-ons, which all these different add-ons here, which got different backs on. So if you want to put a cargo slot on there, you can do. It has got a two bed as well. Uh, there's the back for just the truck itself, which uh, looks pretty nice anyway. Now that one is for the ATV platform where it's got the loading ramp on there. So you can put the ATV and it will pack. And then we've also got the crane and there's the rollback body and there's the wrecker body. And then we can also have the normal crane on there as well and saddle high saddle low so very versatile bit of kit really and so that's the atv one and i think there is, is there a, yeah so the activate anchor does the same thing where that or drop down just like that and then you can drive up now it is quite steep as well so you'll have to either have the smaller lift on it but it did say the ATV will get up there so let's activate that back again I'm 
jobs are good and my dog's snoring away then I'll probably pit that righto well that's it for today's look at the snow runner ix wrecker now it is ix wrecker isn't it yes of course it is the ix wrecker and fantastic job really nice looking mod done a great job lots of different add-ons available for it you can set up your own rescue haulage whatever whatever you want to do towing company we have the vehicles to do that wow and that took some damage right out that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> wow that took some damage as i was saying right out that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this episode looking at the IX Wrecker and if you did why not go and check out one of my other videos I've got plenty to go through I've been going through all the latest mods which uh, take my pick I am a console player and I just jumped onto PC just to have a look at what mods we might be getting for console thanks for watching UK Gamer 808 and I will see you on the next one <laughs>